Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am here today for a fun video on my Sephora VIB um, sale recommendations as well as what I bought. So I thought this might be an easy way um, for everyone to reference what I picked up as well as several um, items that I would recommend buying. So, um, because I feel like this, this, um, video could get very long. I'm going to jump right in. But first, I did film a tutorial on this look. A lot of um, what I used were items that I bought. So when I mention them, I will let you know what is what. Okay, y'all. So a few things before we get started. Um, one, maybe you're clueless. Maybe you're like, what in the world is the VIB sale? So it is a sale that Sephora has around this time of year that offers anywhere from 15 to 20% off its Beauty Insider members. And basically, if you like go to the front and they ask you for your email or birth date or something, um, and they you get points um, to get little samples, then you're a member. So um, your level depends on how much you spend a year and I think there's three tiers the first is just like a beauty insider and then the next tier is the VIB and then the top tier is the um, Rouge and so the top two tiers will get 20% off from the 10th through the 15th and then the beauty insiders will get 15% off and it does run um, November 10th through the 15th and in order to get your discount, if you're in stores, you can just have them look up your account and they can like scan a coupon for you. Um, you should have gotten an email, but you don't need the email to shop the sale in stores. Or at least when I was there, they were really like, oh, I have the coupon. They just needed my account information. Um, another way is if you log in online, it should have um, it like in your account and then it'll give you the code to plug in right there. So it's pretty easy, there's no like, you're not pulling teeth to get a coupon code or anything like that. And then another thing um, is what, what should you buy? Um, I recommend doing a few things, starting out making a list of things that you would want, things that you need. It's a really great time to stock up on those items that you know you use all year round. And two, it's a great time to stock up on gifts, whether that's holiday kits or stocking stuffers or just like a random item that someone, um, one of your loved ones has their eye on. It's a great time to do that. Um, perfume, fragrances are very expensive, so it's a great time to stock up on that. And lastly is skincare, because skin skincare products can be very expensive. Um, so it's a great time to do that as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any skincare recommendations because everything I use is medical grade. But um, in addition to those things, it is a great time to splurge on yourself a little bit. Um, you know, beauty products never go on sale. So it's a great time if you had your eye on something to um, grab it for yourself and treat yourself too. I know I did. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm sharing what all I bought as well as things that I already own that I highly recommend. And unfortunately, I say highly recommend way too many times in this video. But um, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoy. I'm gonna start, I think, with what I bought. And I'll jump right in with a few things that aren't as exciting. One is this Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. I have used it a few times since I bought it. This was a new to me product. Um, I'm not crazy about it, but I don't hate it. Um, I don't know if it's worth spending the 30-ish some dollars on it. So we'll just move on from that. Next up is this Sephora Crayon, let's see, Sephora Contour Eye Pencil. And I got the shade Coco as well as um, Along for the Ride. I don't have Along for the Ride here with me, but it is an emerald color. These are really, they're like $10 um, affordable eyeliner options. I love them. They're super, super creamy and highly recommend picking up a few of these. They're comparable to the Urban Decay eyeliners, but they're much um, more budget friendly. And then um, the next thing I picked up was this 
Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. This is like an everyday, quick, easy foundation that um, I used to use all the time and kind of stopped wearing it because this is the only shade. It's just this drop dropper. It's like a serum foundation. Um, works really nice. And um, it's been a while since I tried it. I wanted to give it a go because I was looking for something that I could throw on really easily for like everyday wear. So I'm excited to start using this again. Um, it will hopefully match my skin tone because I'm much paler than usual. Next, I picked up this Dior Forever Foundation. I received, well I didn't receive, I went in and got a sample of it at Sephora and really, really liked it and I thought it'd be the perfect time to pick up a full size. <laughs> Calvin finally decided to leave. He's literally been sitting there for like two hours. Um, but I am in the shade Linen. It is what I have on today. I love this foundation, y'all. I have tried it both with a beauty blender and a brush, and I like the way both wear. Um, I wore this Saturday. I guess I put it on around 11, and I wore it all day tailgating. I wore it to the football game, and it was like around 7, and I went and like, was trying to like touch up and I was looked in the mirror and I was like really surprised at how well it had stayed intact and I was really pleased with the way my makeup still looked um, and that's not always the case after a long day so I highly recommend checking this out I have oily skin and it says that it is shine control I've heard people that have combo that really like this foundation um, and yeah, I highly, highly recommend. I'm in the shade 021, and it's also shade linen. For whatever reason, the bottles only have the number, but the online, I swear it only has like the name. So it only says linen online, but the bottle only has the number. The box has both of them. Super annoying. I'm not really sure why they would do that, but anyways. Next thing was I picked up this Fenty Beauty Universal Blotting Powder, and um, this is obviously a new line. This product was new to me, and I used it several times over the weekend, and I really, really like it. Um, it doesn't leave you too powdery or leave you like a white cast or anything on there, and it's just, I'll put a little on here. And it's just like a really, leaves a really nice finish. I have been keeping this in my purse. So I've just been keeping this little um, what, doohickey, whatever you call it, little blotting pad that comes with it. Um, I wanted to try, she had an eyeliner that was like kind of glittery that I wanted to try. But they were sold out. But um, if you are oily and you're looking for a blotting powder um like i said i've just used it for the first time over the weekend but i did really like it and it was something that i picked up for the sale um two replenishments that i bought was um this mark jacobs twinkle pop eye stick in vulver and i've talked about this before on social media on my February favorites on here. I posted forever ago. And it's just a really pretty champagne color. Um, I had one of these before and I used it all and I was out and I love this. I like it as an eyeshadow base. It's really great to just like throw on the lid and go if you're in a hurry or um, just want a little sparkle on the lid. Oh, but um, before I forget, if this, oops, if the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop eyeshadow stick is out of your budget, um, the Sephora eyeshadow sticks are really nice as well, and they are pretty budget friendly, just FYI. Another replacement that and something that I love so much, this is my old um, one because I still have a little bit left, is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. And I get the shade Luminous Bronze Light. It comes in, I think, five or six colors now but when it first came out there was just a few of them and it you can see the texture there that's like the pan this is hands down if i could only have one bronzer the rest of my life would be this one i can wear it in the dead of winter i can wear it in the like heat of summer it just looks so pretty that is what i have on today it just bronzes up the skin so nicely um I love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend. It's pricey. So if you're going to pick it up, now is the time to do so. Um, oh, it does have a sheen to it, but 
I have never had an issue. Like I feel like once you put it on, you can't really see um, see like a shimmer at all. So highly recommend. And then um, another thing I picked up during the sale was this Makeup Forever little compact with two of their blushes in it. So the Makeup Forever blushes, these are new to me. I've never tried any of their blushes. Matter of fact, I think they might be new, but um, they come in like little containers like this, like the pans do, and then you get the little tin. Um, I got the shade, 308, B308, and B302. I'm not sure which is which. I think this is B302, and I think this is B308. But um, I have both of them on my cheeks today. I've been wearing them a ton. I love them both. So you can buy one. They have like a single 10 for 25, two for 45, or three for 65. I kind of wish I would have picked up a third one after trying these. Like, they're so pretty and pigmented. I will swatch them here for you guys. I think this is 302 and then 308. Um, if I can figure it out. Um, but if I can figure out which color is which, I will definitely leave a little annotation here. So, yeah, I love these. They also have... Um, highlighters and contour powders that like go in the same little like compact okay and then another new to me product is this huda beauty smoky obsessions eye palette and this little guy is 27 dollars and worth every penny um it's what i'm wearing today and i just i just love it but if you just, I mean, these shimmer shades are incredible. The mattes are really, really nice. And like I said, that's what I have on right now. And that is what I used for my little tutorial that I did for you guys. So if you're interested in this look, then you'll have to stay tuned to see that. And the last, actually, no, one quick thing. Um, I bought two of these Sephora overnight masks. They're like four bucks, so 20 Percent is gonna save you what like 80 cents or something, but um, I love them and they have a lot of different treatments. The green tea is the mattifying and anti blemish. Then the last thing I bought this go around is this Marc Jacobs lip gloss in Skin Deep. This lip gloss is gorgeous, so freaking pretty. Um, when I first when I got it home and tried it on, I wasn't certain if I was gonna keep it because it is like. It's a little cooler toned, it seems, like a little taupey mauve, but um, that's what I have on today, and I love it so much. It, these glosses are very glossy, very pigmented, but worth the money for sure. So that is all I bought when the sale was going on, the 3rd through the 6th for Rouge members, but like I said, the sale will um, apply to Rouge members again, the 10th through the 15th, and I will be picking up one more thing, which is the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. This was one of the 100 point perks that I picked up while I was shopping there. And I kind of forgot how much I like this. I have it on today underneath the Dior Foundation and it just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So moving on to items that I didn't purchase because I already had, but would highly recommend you guys picking up during the sale. And I'm going to lead off with this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This powder is incredible for people with oily skin. Um, it's so good. I have it on today. I wear it literally every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't wear this probably. Well, unless I'm not wearing makeup, but you guys know what I mean. Um, I have it over the Dior Foundation and it is just amazing. Um... I always restock up on this. However, it seems like this is like lasting me a bit longer. And then the other thing that I highly recommend is the Tarlet and Bloom palette. It is so pretty, so pretty. Um, a lot of pretty mattes, a lot of pretty shimmers. The these two shades here have seen a lot of love as well as these. Um, I just really love this palette. It's super wearable for every day and you can wear it um, at night as well. I wore this um, 
when I was in a friend's wedding and it was beautiful. That's actually why I picked it up um, to begin with. And it's just stunning. I highly recommend. I've heard really good things about the toasted palette, but I'm not a really warm tone kind of gal, so that's why I haven't picked it up. Um, but highly recommend. How many times can I say highly recommend? We shall see. I recommend picking up during the sale is fragrances and especially like for gifts. Um, my mom typically always puts uh, perfume or cologne in mine and my brother's stockings and um, so Tyler and I kind of started doing that as well with our stockings and it's just a a great way to save some money because perfume is expensive. Um, one of my favorite fall scents is Commodities Moss. And I'm terrible with notes. I don't like very feminine perfumes. And oh my god, you guys, this perfume is so good. Um, a girl that goes to my gym was wearing this and I like went and immediately bought it. I bought it last year. I still have quite a bit. So um, I might end up picking Tyler up some cologne to put in his stocking so I can save a few bucks down the road. Other things that are good to pick up during the sale are little gifty items. I will be the first to say that this year I just wasn't very impressed with like the holiday kits. I don't know if that's just because like they are like the same every year and I typically like will buy them for myself because I love makeup and I just like love new makeup but I just I haven't been very impressed but um these two guys are little they're like in the on the go section of Sephora that gets me every time this my mom actually put in my stocking last year I um, used the contour today but it's just a little contour highlight palette and I think it's like 20 something dollars. It's a really good gift if you have a beauty lover um, that you're looking for a gift for. And then um, this little Tartlet, Tartlet Tease palette was a birthday gift that my best friend got me. A lot of really pretty shades. I love this brown shade here for the outer V. This shimmer shade is gorgeous. And um, it's a great little stocking stuffer as well. But that's not to say that the holiday kits wouldn't be great for you or as a gift for someone that you know and um, that loves beauty products. I just personally didn't need any and um, couldn't think of anyone that I needed a gift for. So I passed this year on them, but there are some good ones. I just wasn't super impressed with them. But anyways. Um, another product that I love that is worth the money are the Marc Jacobs blushes. I have been really impressed. I don't love his eyeshadows, but I've been really impressed with his products. I actually received all of his blushes in a PR package, and I love all of them except for one. There's only five shades, but, but that's only because, actually maybe two two that's just because they're too dark for my skin tone um but this kink and kisses is a really nice pink shade i love flesh and fantasy for like an everyday just need like a little something on the cheeks and then there's a one called lines and last night that's really pretty as well it's more of like a corally peach but those are great blushes that I highly recommend um, investing in this time of year because you can save a few dollars because they are a little expensive. One little thing that's like a ride or die item for me is this little Stila highlight. If you guys don't have this guy, he's so pretty. Like so pretty. Um, I have this on today, my uh, brow bone and my inner corner highlight. I just love it. Um, it's something that I would definitely recommend you guys trying. I love this Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. The tip is so small, like smaller than the brow is. And this was actually recommended to me after I got my eyebrows done at the Benefit um, Brow Counter in Ulta. And I know this is a Sephora um, sale, so I kind of feel bad saying that. But they do sell it at Sephora. And it comes in quite a few shades, and I love it. It's what I have on today. This color is probably a little dark for me, but I highly recommend this product. And I'm sorry I've said highly recommend like 10 times. Another thing that I always like to pick up, I know these are like $6 regular price, but are the Sephora Magic, Magic Elastics. 
These little hair ties are the absolute best. They are the only thing that hold up my hair and I just love them so much. They are awesome. Um, speaking of hair, this triple sec by the dry bar is awesome. It is one of the only products that will add texture and volume to this fine hair. Smells nice. It's just, it's a really good product. I love it so much. I've heard really great things about their dry shampoo too, but I'm kind of picky about dry shampoos, so I haven't tried it yet. I have two lip products and two highlighters, and then that's it. Um, so the first highlighter is Anything by Becca. They have amazing highlighters. My favorite shade is Champagne Pop. Mine is shattered, and I have yet to like take some alcohol and like blot it down. But um, that's the shade that I find up there is it's most flattering on my skin tone. Um, but the powder, the consistency is amazing, and they have so many different shades to match so many different skin tones. I really think that everybody could find a shade of their highlighters that would work for them. And their highlighters are just like bar none, like the best. But um, another one that I actually have on today is this Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion um, Illuminator. And this is in the shade 02. It is a gorgeous, goldy, champagne-like highlight like I said I mean I have it on today um, there you can kind of see what it looks like my favorite way which is the how I um, put it on in my tutorial is actually with a beauty blender um, something about this formula just works best, best that way but I love these highlighters I think they only have one other color though which is kind of a kind of a bummer oh <laughs> One honorable mention highlight because it is kind of expensive is this Marc Jacobs um, Dew Drops and Do You. This might have been actually limited edition. I'm not sure. And this is like a ton of product that hasn't been sheared out. But look at that. I mean, that's like way too much. But look how gorgeous that is. Like you could even just like put it on your collarbone or your shoulders if you're going out and you want to add a little JLo glow. I mean, these dew drops are awesome. Okay, next up, I have two lip products. And um, Sephora, there are so many lip products at Sephora. Actually, I have three. Shit. I gotta go find the other. Um, but one, I will start out, is the are these new YSL um, matte lip stains and these are pretty new to me but they are amazing you guys i have the shades 07 and 05 here that i'll swatch for y'all this 07 is a really pretty neutral and this 05 is like a pretty berry tone oh my gosh they last so long and they're so comfortable on the lips they have a pretty good shade um range there's 07 and 05, um, and I love these so much. Um, they have a ton of bright colors, which would be fun for the summer, which I know it's like winter time, but they have a lot of other pretty like deep berries and reds and beautiful reds, and this, these I highly, highly recommend. Um, another lip product are the Marc Jacob glosses. Like I said, I've been really into his products. Um, they're, his glosses are incredible. This is actually the first one I've owned. This is Skin Deep. And it's just a really pretty glossy nude that's beautiful. I have it on today and I love it so much. Um, I think I might pick up another color while the sale is still going on. One last lip color, I had to go find it. Um, are these Buxom lip glosses. These are amazing. Um, my favorite personal shade is White Russian. I don't think it's gonna show up on my hand, um, but it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I'll put a little on. Just reflects the light so pretty off of like your lips. It makes them look like voluminous and it is a little plumping. It has like a minty um, feel to it, but nothing that's like, that hurts or anything like that. Um, but there is White Russian swatched. And then the very last thing I have 
is a body product and it is the uh, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which sounds ridiculous. It's by Sol Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro, I can't read, yeah, Sol de Janeiro and it is, I mean, the best body lotion ever. It leaves like the prettiest sheen on the skin and smells incredible. The scent lasts like all day and it is more of like um it makes you think of the beach and it's very like tropical but it's so 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 good. Um I think a big thing that's like maybe six ounces is $45. So it is a little expensive but it is to me it's worth the money. Um I'm gonna pick up a refill because I'm almost out of these little guys. Um but it's the perfect time to save on it. Um, how many times can I say, um, I'm still getting the hang of this whole video thing, but those are all of my recommendations, everything I bought. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There's going to be more videos to come. And remember, if you're interested in seeing this makeup look, the tutorial will be up shortly. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching.